It's time to learn the names of French classroom items. Bonjour, c'est moi, madame. Let's talk about the names of some of the things that we might find in our classroom. First of all, if you want to ask what something is, you'll use this question. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? This is how you'll ask, what's that? Or what is it? You may also want to know just the names of items that you see. You can say, comment dit-on, the name of the English word, en français. Comment dit-on, cell phone, en français. Maybe you have a French word that you've heard and you want to know what it means. Que veut dire? Que veut dire portable? Ça veut dire cell phone. Let's try those again. Comment dit-on? En français, que veut dire? If you're ready to answer that question for someone who asks it to you, you can use these parts of the sentence. There are three different parts that you'll need. First, you'll start your sentence with C, which can also be pronounced as set, or if it's plural, ce sont. C, set, ce sont. The next part is a or une, to say a or an. It tells the gender of the noun that you're describing. Remember that French is a romance language, and that means that everything has a gender. There's no such thing as it. And the last part is the name of the noun, the person, place, thing, or idea that you're describing. So first, to start your answer, C. Si. C. Si. It might also be pronounced Set. Set. How do you know which way it'll be pronounced? If the word coming after it begins with a consonant sound, it will be pronounced se. Say madame. C'est moi. If the word that comes after it begins with a vowel sound, un or une, it will be set. C'est un. C'est une. C'est un portable. C'est une bouteille. If it's something that's plural, you'll use ce sont to say these are these different things. Ce sont des livres. The French people will use articles to tell the gender of the noun. How do you know it? Well, you just learn it whenever you learn the name of the noun and you memorize it. There's really no hard and fast rule anymore. Um, the way that words have evolved over time, there are some spelling, word, spelling rules that will go with the different spellings like A-G-E is always masculine, E-U-R is always mas masculine, nine times out of ten, and E will be feminine at the end of a sentence or end of a word, but doesn't necessarily mean it's true. And we'll see some examples of that here in just a moment. But first, what articles would you need? Well, to be able to tell the gender of something, you would have un or une in front of it. Un or une will make a or an. It tells one of something, just like the number un. Repetez. Un. Une. It's what we would call a thing or an item. Just one. Maybe you have a definite article in front of it. You may see le or la or the l apostrophe, l apostrophe. This is the word for the. This is for specific things that you want to talk about. So, for example, a book. That would be un livre. But if I want a specific book, like the book that's on your desk, or a particular book on the shelf, or the French book, as opposed to any other book, that would be le livre, the book. We also have some plurals. Un and une are made plural with de. It's kind of the equivalent of some, and sometimes it can be left out of English, but it can't in French. Let's repeat all the indefinite articles. Un, une, de. Le, la, and l apostrophe can be made plural with le. What's really nice about our plurals is it doesn't matter if it's masculine or feminine, we get to use the same word. Let's try the definite articles together. Le, la, l apostrophe, le. So where would you use l apostrophe? Well, it can be stand in for either le or la. 
and you put it in front of a word that begins with a vowel sound. And that way you don't have that yucky, vomity, hiccupy burp thing that you would try to ignore and avoid if you were trying to speak French and sound French. Okay. So let's name some items. Kiss, kiss, say, what is it? Some things you'll find around our classroom. First of all, the word for classroom is une salle de classe. Une salle de classe. A window. Une fenêtre. Une fenêtre. A door. Une porte. Une porte. A desk. Un bureau. Un bureau. A chair. Une chaise. Une chaise. A table. Une table. Une table. A board. Un tableau. Un tableau. And I put both kinds up here. The tableau can be a chalkboard, a blackboard, a green board, a whiteboard, or even a Promethean or smart board. Other smaller items. Calculator. Une calculatrice. Une calculatrice. Sheet of paper. Une feuille de papier. Une feuille de papier. You might find a sheet of paper with many others in un bloc. Un bloc. This is what you can use for a notebook or a tablet. You can also describe a notebook the same way you do a workbook or three ring binder. Un cahier. Un cahier. At the whiteboard, we find markers. Un foutre. Or one marker. Un foutre. And an eraser. Une brosse. Une brosse. This word for eraser is a little different than the one we use for a small pink eraser, like on a pencil, or one that you hold in your hand to erase pencil marks. That'll be on the next slide. A book. Un livre. Un livre. It's related to our word, library. Other items in the classroom. A pencil. Un crayon. Un crayon. A pen, un stylo, un stylo. A poster, un poster, un poster. A CD, un CD, un CD. A DVD, un DVD, un DVD. This is where those alphabet letters and pronunciations come in pretty handy. Let's try those again. Un CD. Un DVD. A map. Une carte. Une carte. An eraser for a pencil. Une gomme. Une gomme. A backpack. Un sac à dos. Un sac à dos. A computer, un ordinateur, un ordinateur. A CD player, un lecteur de CD, un lecteur de CD. A DVD player, un lecteur de DVD, un lecteur de DVD. A television, une télévision. Une télévision. You can also shorten it to une télé. Une télé. Sometimes the things that we find in our classroom aren't things at all. They're people, like you and me. Boy, un garçon. Un garçon. Girl, une fille. Une fille. Student. It's the same word, but we put un or une to tell if it's masculine or feminine. A male student, un élève, un élève. A female student, 
une élève. Une élève. A teacher. Un prof. Un prof. That's a male teacher. Female teacher. Une prof. Une prof. You can also use the long word. Un professeur. Un professeur. And that word will describe both a male and a female teacher because of the masculine ending EUR. So let's see what kinds of items we can find in this classroom. I'm going to ask you if there is one of these in this class. We'll just do a few items and then we'll look at another picture. Est-ce qu'il y a un prof? Est-ce qu'il y a un prof? Oui, il y a un prof. There is a teacher. Est-ce qu'il y a des élèves? Est-ce qu'il y a des élèves? Oui, il y a des élèves. There are students. Est-ce qu'il y a une fenêtre? Est-ce qu'il y a une fenêtre? Oui, il y a des fenêtres. There are windows, more than one. Est-ce qu'il y a un ordinateur? Est-ce qu'il y a un ordinateur? Oui, il y a un ordinateur. The kids have Chromebooks or laptops in front of them. Est-ce qu'il y a une télé? Est-ce qu'il y a une télé? Non, il n'y a pas de télé. There isn't a TV there. How about this picture? Take a look around the room. Est-ce qu'il y a une chaise? Est-ce qu'il y a une chaise? Oui, il y a une chaise. There are lots of them. Chairs. Est-ce qu'il y a un tableau? Est-ce qu'il y a un tableau? Oui, il y a un tableau. There's a board at the front of the room. Est-ce qu'il y a une télé? Est-ce qu'il y a une télé? Oui, il y a une télé. There's a TV mounted on the wall. Est-ce qu'il y a une porte? Est-ce qu'il y a une porte? Now, there probably is one, but we can't see it in the picture, so we'll say no. Non, il n'y a pas de porte. There isn't a door. You did a great job. Merci. Thanks for watching and thanks for speaking French along with me. If you have any questions about pronunciation, be sure and ask them in Google Classroom or on Google Meet or email me if you get the chance. Au revoir.